Display or um, the app. What? I'm not hearing the game. So I'm not yeah, I know. I'm on display. <clears throat> I can switch it. Yeah. Uh, because I have to Alt Tab out. Uh, okay. Oh, you can challenge your friends. What? I didn't know they had 1v1 multiplayer matches. Boom. I'm gonna have to turn the, the volume down here in a minute. Oh, I know. Oh, I, can't, I can't hear you. <laughs> I assume career campaign campaign oh yeah i forgot there's um a way that we can import your logo into the game as the uh the company logo oh shit i could have done that yeah you could still do it technically um probably gonna do that then Manage your mech's heat in combat by turning off low chance to hit weapons. I really like the score in this so far. I am Kamea of House Arano, High Lady of the Oregon Reach, Protector of Coromadir, and the Sword of Restoration. But I am not a hero. No matter what the stories say, a hero would have sacrificed more, compromised less. A hero would have done better. You know this, of course. You were there. 
My father used to tell me stories about the ancient times, about the Star League. A I was at the ancient time. Of prosperity, <laughs> upheld by the great mech warriors of old, guardians of the innocent, protectors of the peace. I always dreamed of following in their footsteps. I was too young to see the truth of things. After all, it wasn't heroism or a noble cause that won me the throne. It was hiring a mercenary, skilled enough, perhaps ruthless enough, to carry the day. Hiring you. Noise. I still don't know if you fought for honor or for the thrill of it, for belief in my cause, or just in my money. But whether it was your noble heart or mercenary mind, your actions gave us hope. That makes you a hero in the eyes of history. Whether you believe it, that's up to you. So to give you a little reference of time, the Star League period was 2570 to 2780. So about 210 years. The time period right now is like 3000 something. So like 500 years ago. When she said the ancient time about the Star League. Yeah. It's like yeah. 200 years ago. No, 500. It is here your story begins. <clears throat> oh, okay. So, um, this gives you some information on background of them, and you pretty much pick the one that you are more comfortable with, based on their ideology and faction. If you want to know more about something that's golden, you can hover your mouse over. Oh, that's cool. The Draconis Combine. Oh, some Merrick. Make warriors who hail from the Federated Sons. That's crazy. All right. Leal, Merrick, and Steiner. So those are all the biggest houses, right? Davian, Carita, Leal, Merrick, and Steiner. Yes. And then you have the smaller, so you have the majors and the minors. So the man, uh, ministry, the turns, rimward, and deep. Those are all smaller ones. And then there's like even smaller companies after that. The de facto ruling nobility of the system's only inhabited planet. I got an old blackjack, huh? Forty fucking years of combat experience. Until the day after your 16th birthday, when you were... Okay. Your family died in an accident. Your family was betrayed. You can read the hovering stat or the glowing stats. Oh, I see. You actually get stats for this, too. Yep. And those stats play important roles. Gunnery and tactics. Knowing your playstyle, you're probably going to want gunnery and guts. But I'll let you determine on your own. Tactics and guts. Piloting and guts. Gunner. Oh, your family was betrayed. What does guts do? Oh, nice. 
<laughs> that that makes sense. All right, so my family was betrayed. Got it. <clears throat> Out on your own, you fell into a life of merchant guard, frontier pirate, Solaris gladiator. Guts, gunnery, tactics, piloting. Okay. Um You fell in with a local pirating gang. <laughs> yeah, that's what we're going to go for. Yeah. Oh. One bad fight away from the gutter. A pair of AC-2s with four medium lasers. Oh, and this is where I choose my portrait, huh? And your pronouns. Wait, you choose pronouns in this? Ah. Uh, what? Okay, I'm kind of kind of confused by that. Hold on. The portraits change for they? Yes. Okay. Mm. Okay. So it like does feminine and male masculine qualities for they got it. That that's yep. fine. I mean that's cool. Alright, so Oh you can customize it? That's badass. Wait, why is there makeup? Just in case. Why are you wearing makeup, bro? Have to put makeup on. Okay. I think one is actually no makeup. Expression. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> you know what I'll just go ahead and do this and then do Grim and Stir <laughs> my name is Grim Stir <laughs> <laughs> my call sign is Grimster GG my name is Grim my last name Stir <laughs> fucking shit <laughs> uh.
PS three. <clears throat> Preparing for combat. <laughs> okay. Command interface initiated. Tell you more about your job. Oh, it's my turn. I'll come right out and say it, kid. I wasn't completely honest with you the other day. There's going to be more to this job than escort duty. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. Like I was saying, I can't prove anything. But my gut now look at your bottom right. off. And a warrior trusts their instincts. My well my my weapons. Ninety five percent yep. chance to hit. Oh okay. And they're also and then damage and ammo. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then <laughs> there's the dots on the left saying that those are the ones you're gonna fire. And then if you look at the um left hand side above their black tech next to your number. That bar that's blinking shows you your heat meter. Oh, this? I can't see your mouse. So Yeah. It's yeah, I, I yeah, yep. I see that's it. That's your heat. Below that's your stability. Above that is two chevrons, which is your evasion. I kind of said click the... Okay, hold on. Select the target with your mouse or press tab to cycle between targets. So I couldn't choose exactly what spot on him I wanted to hit yet. You can't, unless you do called shot. Then you get to choose the spot. White bar is their armor, their gray bar is their structure. You did damage to different parts of their armor. See up top, you see the, how it's grayer on the outside? Oh, yeah. And they have individual stats. So, just like the battle or the mech warrior, you did damage to the armors, but you didn't do enough to get into the structure. All weapons committed. Enemy unit destroyed. <clears throat> Victoria pulls no punches, but she's been a loyal companion to Kamea since they were kids. So Aside you can see your heat right there above your no, I'd rather have by my side in a fight. 
Engaging jump jets. Enemy detected. Heat critical. Jump jets build a lot of heat, and that was more than your engine could handle. Head on into that water. We need to get you cooled off. Plasma leak detected. Of course. Okay, click the melee targeting reticle. So I headbutted it. Got it. All right, that's cool. <laughs> Push that engine, kid. If something goes wrong today, I want to know that you're mecha maneuver. Oh, okay. Full throttle. Full throttle. Is it behind me? Yeah, it was. Okay. An impressive display, Sir Raju. Of course, this mech warrior was a student of yours. I'd expect them to know their way around a cockpit. Entrenched. Mission hmm. successful. So how many mechs can you actually get into battle? Is it a tonnage thing like usual? 